Welcome to Bedtime Stories. This particular story is called The Streetlight is the Moon. Amaya lay in bed sleepily. Her mum was drawing the curtains. Mum, the moon, look, the moon, she shouted excitedly. But her mum just smiled and said, that's not the moon, dear. That's just the streetlight across the road. But as her mum turned to her, Amaya was already fast asleep. Her mum crept over, tucked her in, gave her a little kiss on the forehead and whispered, Good night, sweetheart, and left the bedroom. The next minute, Amaya's eyes were wide open and she had a tickly feeling inside her tummy. But she was also bouncing up and down, up and down in slow motion, as if she was on a trampoline. But she wasn't. She was on the moon. How on earth did that happen? When she landed, she settled down. She looked around. It was quiet. There wasn't any wind. And in the, in the sky were millions and millions of stars in the black background. They looked huge, but she was on the moon. Finally, she saw clouds of dust in the distance. And the dust got bigger and bigger as it got closer and closer. And she realised there were creatures running towards her. As they got to within a couple of feet, they all stopped. They had little baby faces and little baby hands. And they had onesies on. And the colour of their skin was blue. They said, who are you? And she said, I'm a Maya. Who are you? And a rather tall one, who was the leader, said, we are plogs. And at the word plogs, Amaya couldn't help herself. And she started laughing. She laughed so much that little tears floated away into the atmosphere. And then she stopped because she realised they were serious. What are you running away from? We are running away from the lunar monster. The lunar monster, Amaya said. Yes, the oogly. And when they mentioned the word oogly, she started laughing again, but then stopped straight away. Why are they chasing you? Because of that thing, one of them pointed. And as Amaya turned and looked round, her spaceship had crash landed on the moon and had shaken the surface. Why is the oogly chasing you? Because the oogly sleeps for a thousand years and you've just woken him up. Now he'll want something to eat and he's chasing us and we will have to get him food for the rest of his days. What are you going to do? I don't know, they said. He's coming, he's coming, we can hear him. And you could hear a growl and a low roar. And Amaya said, get behind me, go and hide in the caves. I'll take care of this, she said. There was a cloud of dust and the monster got closer and closer till eventually she could see its big round head, its big disc-like eyes, its sharp white teeth, short stumpy legs and long spindly arms. But when it got close, it was only up to her waist. Now the plugs were only up to her knee. It stopped dead. Rawr, it growled. But Amaya didn't move. She said, who are you? I am the Oogly. Now get out of my way. Don't you dare, she said. You are after the plugs, and the plugs are nice people. Why don't you turn around and go back to your cave and go back to sleep? The Oogly didn't know what to do. He just stepped back, turned around, and he scampered off into his cave, and he was never seen again. All the plogs came out from the caves and were cheated. Amaya, Amaya, Amaya. And she drifted off into her sleep. And then she heard Amaya, Amaya. And when she opened her eyes, it was her mum. Amaya, come on, you've got to get up for breakfast and it's time for school. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye for now.